Hi everyone, Stock Mo here. Today's video is for entertainment purposes only, and boy do I got a good one for you. We're gonna discuss some of the best stocks to buy now. These are the best growth stocks for 2021, in my opinion. These should be able to carry us above average returns for the next five years is, is what I'm thinking. So I think these are gonna be big. So stick around. I think you're gonna like what I got for you. If you're new to the channel, I am Stock Mo. I'm an old financial advisor and educator. I taught in high school, college level classes, investing, finance, even crypto. Now I come on to YouTube, all I ever ask, hit that subscribe button down there. That little subscribe button means the world to me, helps me out, and of course, hit the bell for notifications, hit all. That way you'll know when I throw a video out there and you can figure it out if it's gonna help you take you to that next level of financial freedom you're striving for. Hit the thumbs up, smash that like button, as the kids say, it helps me with the algorithm for YouTube. Now I do have a link down below Hello to BlockFi. Right now, they're giving you up to 250 in free Bitcoin. I got that link in the description. You're going to be able to go over there, get interest paid on your money. Then if you sign up for a credit card, they will allow you to get up to 10.6% interest on some of the money you have in there. It's crazy. So if you got your crypto and money other places, you're not getting paid interest on it, you're going to want to go over to BlockFi, take advantage of this because they are paying some great amounts on, uh, I think it's on Bitcoin. It's 5% right now, Ethereum is 4.5%, and then some of the other ones, like I said, up to 8.6, sign up for the credit card, they pay you back in Bitcoin, you get Bitcoin rewards. It's crazy, so if you haven't checked it out, go over and check that out. I do have a link down below to Weeble as well, put two, uh, $100 in there, you get two free stocks right now, worth up to 2300 which is the highest they've ever paid out for this. So if you haven't done this yet, I highly suggest doing it. I get a free share, you get two free shares, they could be worth up to 2300 for your two free shares. That is how you're helping out the channel. Now, I do have my Patreon link down below as well. That is uh, where I share all my portfolios. You can come over and check that out. I show you when I'm buying and selling. We have a private Discord with thousands of members. We just help each other get the right investments into our portfolios. That is what you're going to want to become part of. Now, if you look at the market today, you can see we have green across the board. The VIX is dropping. We got the Russell up 0.4. We got the NASDAQ up 0.2. S&P up 0.1. And we got the Dow Jones based basically flat. You wouldn't think it was a big day today, but yesterday when we had the big day, some of you were asking me, hey Mo, what's going on with the EVs? You know, this market is way up and there, some of them are red. It's like mixed. Tesla was up a little bit. The Neo was down a little bit and I made a video and I said, look, at the end of the day, Tesla's still my number one. I thought Neo from this morning's video, I said is way underpriced. It's gonna be rebounding quickly because we've seen this before. It went up 50% in a short period of time. And that's where we get into it. We're gonna start with my Neo stock price prediction. Of course, I call it my Neo news today. There is just good stuff going on. I expected to see this happen where we have have a kind of flat day in the market and then neo comes out and just starts popping the other evs start popping i'm going to be sharing five of the best stocks to buy now these are the five top growth stocks to buy for 2021 and neo is easily on that list if you are someone who already has neo congratulations because it's going to be a great ride i feel good about this it's one of my biggest holdings out there take a look at the year chart right now this was the worst of the worst so to me this is it this is the downside you can say okay how bad could it get i don't think we'll ever see 31 ever again but you never know that's the thing about the whole investing and if i did i'd be dollar cost averaging through it because i continue to buy it almost weekly and i add more and more and more money to my neo position because i do think it's going to explode over the next five years and now with that being said though there was some concerns here right in here but we've seen this before goes up comes down a little bit goes back up goes up comes down a little bit goes back up down then all the way up the new highs so this little drop here is nothing so if you actually look at the six month gives you a little better look here this is nothing this is just simple profit taking people taking a little bit off the table after it ran up this much and that happens now today is one of them days where you see the market uh, you know, if you look at the five day, you know, it jumped a little bit or it came down a little bit when everybody was making money, everybody's concerned. Now it's popping back up. Do we get back up above that $47, $48 range in the next two to three weeks? And there's a good shot we do. And so I'm going to sit back, watch this. We had a good day today, but at the end of the day, I see NEO, the NEO stock price prediction getting up to 
that $60 or more by the end of this year. I feel good about it, even if it doesn't. And there's a chance it could go way by that. At this point, look how much that thing went up in the last month. Uh, not even the last month, let's go down to this. If you take a look at this, we're looking at 31. It's up $14 a share, that's one month. So if we have another run like that, which we could, you could see this is 60 by August or, or, or even September. Now I'm putting it all the way out there to the end of December. So that gives us a good six months to get there. I think we will. I got my long-term options for those who are new to the channel. I bought some leap options on this. They expire January 20th, 2023. They have a $35 strike price. I got them when the NIA was down there, 32, 31, 33 range. I don't remember the exact price. I don't buy leap options that are in the money. I try to get them right out outside of the money and that's how I pick some of my leap options for those who are wondering and I do have a lot of different leap options which we'll talk about the next stock that I absolutely love and this is one of the best stocks to buy now and I actually made a video this morning it said my number one stock for the long term and my number one crypto for the long term you should check that video out but my number one stock was Tesla and I think that probably surprised some people out there because you know I'm a big Neo fan but in the long term I think that Tesla will have a huge percentage of the global EV industry as well as other industries more and above some of the competitors such as Neo, Xpeng, uh, even Lucid and some of these. I think Tesla is the go-to. And I do see Tesla getting rolling back up close to that $900 mark that I had at the end of this year. So we got six months to see this go up to $246. At one point, it was all the way down to 500. So people tell me it was gonna go down to three, 200. It's just, I don't know where they get these numbers, but based on the revenues, based on everything we're seeing, I see this stock climbing from here. I think we've already seen the lows and you can see in the last month, it's been doing very well. It was down about 572. Since that 572, we can see it's climbed about 14%. It's doing it the way I like it. Steady, slow, except for today. Today's been a good run. Today it's up about 5%, which I'm not gonna complain about, but I do like those slow and steady um, periods over weeks and months, because then I feel like it's a, it's a solid investment for a lot of these big companies. These hedge funds are jumping in. You know, you saw the price on, I think it was Kathy Wood and her organization came out, and I think they put it at 3,000 by the end of 2025. It's a good chance that could happen. We'll see how EVs explode over the next four years. I think EVs are going to dominate. That's why it's easily, in my category, the best stock to buy now. It is easily the top stock to buy now. And so that's the next one. Now, as we move into this, this is another one. We have Churchill Capital, this is CCIV. This is Lucid. The Lucid stock price prediction I've been putting out here for this one has been big. I've been saying that this stock could get up there and it's roughly, I think the valuation of this is roughly in the 40s, 40 billion right now as a market cap for Lucid. To me, I thought it should be 70 to 100 billion right now. So to me, this is underpriced by about 60 to 70% minimum. So since it is trading below there, I've been saying this, that it should finish between 30 and $40 a share this year to get up to fair price. And then next year, as it starts rolling up, I'd like to see this thing up in the 60s, if not higher. I think there's a good chance if they come out with great numbers over the next uh, six quarters, depending if they get into quarter three here, delivering, selling, and all that in the manufacturing, they can increase it from up to Q4. We could see six quarters of great numbers. And I have that January 20th, leap option for 2023 on this one. I believe my strike price is $25 on that one. I could see this going way higher and I would want to take advantage of that and that's what I got. And so that's where I'm looking at this one as the best growth stock to buy now. It's the highest risk out of all the ones I'm showing you today. Maybe there's one other one I got at the end here that might arguably, well, the next one I'm gonna show you could arguably just be as high as risk as Lucid. And this is going to be Fisker. Fisker is one of these high risk plays as well. I am in this one. I do have my, my stock in this, but I do think there's a good chance that this thing could explode. And this is why it's one of the best stocks to buy now. I like this industry. You know how I feel about the transportation using clean energy, EVs you know, all these good things. To me, this gives you that opportunity. If we actually take a look at the last 
Uh, today, it's up 7% almost. It's up 50% in the last month. I've been telling you that it got down to a point that it was a steal. It was almost back down to $10 a share, which is a joke to me. This stock should be trading up there $30 to $40. And so where you say, hey, where are you going to see the Fisker stock price prediction by the end of this year? A lot higher than here. I actually thought it was going to be up around $30 to $40 by the end of this year. Um, very similar to Churchill, and it's only at 18 So for me, this is up $6 more in this one, but I actually think they should should be around the same price by the end of this year. So I actually see more value for the short term, for the next six months with Fisker. And I'm actually looking at adding more on it. If you wanna see what I'm doing, possible options I'm doing, check out the Patreon. That's where I share all my moves and you can come over and be a part of that, support the channel. If I've ever helped you, I would really appreciate if you'd come over and take a look and join us and just be a part of the Discord. It's a great place to go, positive community. Now we get into the last of the best growth stocks to buy now, and then we're gonna look at the analysts. I got the analyst projections up. We can take a look at that, see what they think, because there's some updates, and we'll take a look. But right now, Xpeng. Xpeng was one a lot of people were getting worried about. The price was going up, and then we had a little bit of a pullback. This thing was around 45, dropped all the way down about 11%. That's correction territory from that time. Anytime we get over 10% or more from the high, that's considered a correction. Now, I did not expect to see a 20% drop. So to me, this already hit as low as I thought it would go when it hit that 10% and actually dropped down a little bit more. Got down to sub 40, 39, 99. And since then, it's moved back up. I would expect at this point, and we've seen this before, down, down, then it goes up, down, up, down, and so at this point, I would like to see some continuation of this growth to, to a new high above and beyond that $45 mark, and I think that's gonna be possible. Moving forward, I would expect to see this maybe get up to the $55 to $60 range by the end of this year. If everything goes right with these growth stocks, that's and the EV industry and the global, just the economy in general, and we will find out how that goes. Now, as we get into the best stocks to buy now, you should take a look at the analysts. And I got the analysts here, and you can see what, what we're doing here with the NEO. We're gonna start with NEO, and you can see a $61.10 upside potential. They're saying that. Now, there's a lot of different prices in here, but right now, averaging them together, that's a 33% upside potential. They're saying over the next 12 months. I think they're a little skittish, and I actually think this is gonna happen before the end of this year. And uh, as we move forward into the next, then remember what I said this morning? I told you Tesla is the best stock to buy now because this price is a steal down in the 600s. Anything in the 600s for me for Tesla is a bargain. Once we get back into the mid sevens, then it is going to give us, we'll see, like I said, I think it's gonna get up about 900. So it's a question of how quickly are we gonna get up to those mid 700, 750 to 800 range. And then we'll have to see how quick we do it, just like we did with Neo and some of these other ones. But I do expect, because Tesla did not explode like they did, but I think people are starting, the big hedge funds out there are starting to see what a bargain this is at this point. It has calmed down, the selling has stopped, and now you're starting to see everybody pile in. It was a smart move by them, and I'll give it to them. And now they're going to start making big money over the long term. It's a great opportunity to take on positions for Tesla. Now, we get into the best growth stocks to buy now, the best stocks to buy now for 2021. I definitely love Fisker. Fisker is one that the prices have changed for some of these. At one point, they had this around 40, and now it's starting to come down a little bit. They only have it at a 35.39 upside potential. Uh, in percentage terms, 25.67. I actually see this getting up to 30 to $40 range by the end of this year. We will find out if that happens. I have it, I have my money where my mouth is. I own all these stocks, all right? And hopefully they don't let me down. And we're gonna see if these numbers come true uh, and I would expect them. Xpeng is one that has delivered and delivered well. And so when it comes to the final of the best growth stocks to buy now, this is one that has dominated and it still has a 24.46% upside potential. If you go back and look at some of my old videos, this was at one point like 80 to 100% upside potential. We were diving in and I bought two, I think it was back to back days I was buying more and more of this and it has paid off real nice. So this is easily one of the ones I love and I think you're gonna to continue to see this moving higher. I think this is a little low. I thought 55 to 60 would be a good price by the end of this year, not 12 months. So we'll find out how that goes. These are the big Wall Street people though. Uh, we'll see what that, uh, what that entails compared to a guy down here. So I think I'm gonna do pretty well against them. Now with all that being said, if you haven't gotten your free Bitcoin down below at BlockFi, check 
check it out. They are you can deposit money in there. You can buy your crypto there. They're going to pay you interest on top of it. They're going to pay you interest on your money. They got things. They can even sign up for a credit card where they're going to give you free bitcoins as the as the rewards for that. And on top of that, you can take loans out, real low interest loans on the crypto you got in there. It is just crazy all the services they have, and they're continue to expand. So if you're not a part of BlockFi, I'm telling you, you're going to be eventually. Use my link down below and take advantage of the free Bitcoin now that you can get through using my link. I also have the link down below to Weeble. Take advantage of that. Put 100 bucks in there. Get two free stocks today worth up to $2,300. It's unbelievable how much money they're giving away. It's the highest they've ever done. Highly recommend that. They got all kinds of good stuff over there. They got crypto. They got the stocks. They got all kinds of stuff. So take advantage of that. And finally, I do have the tip ranks link down below in the description if you'd like to take a look at the research I love to look at. This is a good way to do it. And come over to my Patreon. That's the ultimate way. I'm over there. I'll shoot the breeze with you. We do good things. We help each other make money. And that's what it's all about. You know, more minds work better than just trying to do it yourself. And we use all the applications we have at our disposal to take this investing to the next level. And that's what I'm talking about. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money. Thank <laughs> you.